Before 2020, I did not watch any movies by myself. Every time I tried, I would just look at the link and go, damn, no, I can't waste that much time. And then I would just go back to play League. But then 2020 arrived, and something happened. Something that basically forced me to find more ways to entertain myself. I got banned in League. When the year ended, I thought that I had watched a lot of movies. Comparing to previous years where I only watched movies at the cinema, I definitely did. But I ended up only watching 73 movies, which is not much at all. But I still discovered some incredible movies, some movies that have become my favorite now. I watch movies that made me want to play League again because I was probably a better use of my time. I watch movies with a lot of boobs, I watch movies with a lot of penises. I watch a little of everything. First, I would like to talk about movies that surprised me on how good they were. The first one is Slither. This movie is about alien leeches that invade Earth, get into people's mouths, and then turn them into zombies or other things. Something's wrong with me. It is extremely ridiculous, it's fucking disgusting, but it's also extremely fun. Another movie that really surprised me is Swiss Army Man. This movie has the single greatest opening scene of all time, but I'm not gonna talk about it. In fact, I'm not gonna say anything about this movie because this movie is incredible. Please watch this movie without seeing anything about it, not even the trailer. Just think about the title, what it might mean, and you're good. My favorite comedy I saw this year is without a doubt What We Do In The Shadows. This is the very first New Zealand movie I have seen, which of course Taika Waititi directed and also stars in it. This movie is a documentary about roommate vampires living in a modern world and being extremely socially inept. I really love awkward comedy and this movie has a bunch of that and it completely nails it, so please watch it. Hello ladies. The movie that confused me the most and made me feel extremely dumb was Some Thinking of Ending Things, directed by Charlie Kaufman. This movie is not only very sad, it is also the most confusing movie I've ever seen. The first time I watched it I did not understand a single thing about it. I had to watch the movie three times before I could understand anything. The third time I watched this movie I had a better idea on what the movie was about and it was pretty amazing. But I do feel like this movie is way too confusing, or maybe I'm just really dumb, I don't know. But when you understand the movie it is very very good. <laughs> the saddest movie I saw is Cynic Dark in New York. This movie is also directed by Charlie Kaufman. Someone please check on this dude, cause what the fuck? Both of these movies are extremely depressing, and I've also heard that Anomalisa, his other movie, is also pretty sad, so I hope you're okay, dude. This movie is about a theater director named Kaden who's extremely miserable. He worries about every little bad thing that happens, things just keep getting worse for him, and he just can't find meaning to his life. As a person who worries a lot about the future and can't stop thinking that I'm wasting my life, watching this movie was kinda like when someone in your family dies. Not very fun. But this movie really is a masterpiece. It has so many little visual and verbal details that make it extremely rewatchable, even though it's a very depressing movie. I won't settle for anything less than the brutal truth. Brutal. Now, for the worst movies I saw this year, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, I used to love this movie as a kid. I rewatched it and I now understand why as a kid I used to say that I was drowning when I was thirsty. It was pretty trash. Kong Skull Island. This movie has decent action, but that's it. All of the characters are extremely boring and everything is boring. Santa Joe's. This movie is one of those shark movies that is purposely bad and it was pretty bad. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It was trash. Um. Yeah, and the worst movie I saw in 2020 is, without a doubt, Santa Girl. Santa Girl. Santa Girl. Santa Girl. Santa, Santa, Girl. Girl. Santa Girl. Santa Girl. This movie is the worst. Just by the name, I'm pretty sure you already knew that. I can't remember anything that happened in this movie other than it is boring. I was planning on making a video on these three movies for Christmas, but unfortunately this movie did put me in a coma, so I was not able to do it. I apologize, but I will do it in the future. I just need some time. And now we're gonna be talking about my five favorite movies of 2020. Blade Runner 2049. This movie is two hours and 40 minutes long. And even without a lot of action, it does not get boring at any point. And that's because this movie is one of the most visually pleasing things I have ever seen in my life. And also has an incredible sound design. Watching this movie with headphones and the volume all the way up has to be one of the greatest orgasms I've ever experienced. And I've experienced at least two of those. <laughs> you look lonely. Number four is Hereditary. This movie has to be the most horrifying movie I've seen, 
Throughout the whole movie, the music, the visuals, everything makes the movie feel very uneasy, which made me feel extremely anxious, although it is true that I feel like that most of the time. This movie does not contain any cheap jump scares, which is always something to praise in a horror movie. Tony Collette gives an incredible performance, Alex Wolf is also pretty great. Number three is Parasite. When Parasite came out in theaters at the beginning of the year. I remember going without knowing a single thing about it, and it was one of the greatest decisions I've ever done in my life, because holy shit, I did not expect a single thing of what happened in the second half of the movie. Everything was just too perfect. At the time when I watched this movie, I had never been invested in a story as much as this one, so it made me want to watch a lot more movies to look for something that made me feel at least close to what this movie made me feel. And I did found a couple of those. My name is Joel Parrish, and I'm here to erase Clementine Krasinski. Number two, Eternal Mind of the Sunshine. This movie is about this couple that decides to erase each other from their memory. But as this is happening, he realizes that it might not be the best idea. This movie is easily the greatest romance movie I've seen in my life, and has one of my favorite endings ever. This movie actually changed how I view certain things in my life. And that's something that had never happened to me before. So that's one of the main reasons that I love this movie so much. Certain disappeared as in a dream upon waking. This is the last time I saw you. Number one is easily Spirited Away. Before 2020, I had never seen this movie before. I heard that it was pretty amazing, but it's anime, so I didn't watch it. I was a fucking dumbass. Every time I watch this movie I get hit with a feeling of what I can best describe as nostalgia, even though I had never watched this movie before. And that's because the display of creativity in this movie is unbelievable, the design of the characters is very distinctive, the animation is flawless, the backgrounds are necessarily detailed, the music is beautiful, everything in this movie is exceptionally unique and that makes the movie feel extremely immersive. I'm very sad that I didn't watch this movie as a kid. I can't even imagine what a world like this would feel like as a kid, but I'm still very glad that I finally watched it. So if you haven't seen this movie, please do, and then watch it again in a non-sober way, and you will have the time of your life. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to talk about every single movie I watched, but if you're still curious, I'm going to leave a link to the full list in the description. I really hope you guys liked the video, I spent a lot of time doing it. I know I still have a ton of things to improve on, but I'm actually pretty happy with how the video turned out. So if you liked the video, Please remember to like the video and maybe even subscribe, maybe. Alright, bye!